Hello and welcome to another edition of Take a Step. Take a Step is a quiz program designed for students in secondary schools and we have students with us in the studio ready to play but they will be starting with a crossword puzzle and right after that get into the quiz proper and whoever takes the most steps on the program will be the winner today on the show. My name is Moses Humphrey, the quiz master and just so you know Follow us up on YouTube, like, follow, be part of the show, don't miss out on anything. It is at NTAETV up on YouTube. Introducing our students, we have Babalola Emmanuel. Put your hands together for him. And he'll be competing with Chinelo Agano. Put your hands together for her as well. In a bit, they'll be out here to play the crossword puzzle, but that'll be after this break. Take a Step is a production of NTA Educational Television. NTA Educational Television, promoting learning. And here we are to play the crossword puzzle. Why don't you take a step? Pick up your markers. You have 40 seconds to cross as many words as you can find. The most words you cross, the better your chances of taking the very first step on the show. Your 40 seconds starts now. Flip the board and start crossing. Looking for some states in Nigeria. We have states like Abia, Lagos, Ondo, Jos, Kogi. Very few indeed. Your ability to cross as many within the shortest time possible guarantees you the very first step on Take a Step. Okay? Tick-tock, ticking away. Your time is up. Oh my, how, how did you meet Lagos? You came this way and... Okay, we have one, two. Put your hands together for him. Abia, Lagos. And over here, we have one, two, three, four, five. Put your hands together for her. And so you'll be taking the very first step on the show. Congratulations to you. Great. We're starting off with English. Why don't you take a step? And you have the opportunity to go first. English, you are to complete the sentences. You have questions one to five to pick from. Pick a number. Five. Question five. Complete the following sentences. Question five. The secret is dash you and me. The secret is dash you and me. Options are A, under, B, at, C, between. C, between. The secret is between you and I. That's the correct answer. Put your hands together for her. Go ahead, take the step. Okay, your, your question now. Question, Question number three. The boys did the short journey, dash foot, A, on, B, with, C, from. A, on. On foot, put your hands together for him. Congratulations to you, take the step. All right, great. Question two. Okay, question two. The student was away from the campus, dash a week. 
last term. The student was away from the campus dash a week last term. Options are A, for, B, from, C, since. A, from. A, for. For. For, yeah. A, for. Put your hands together for her. That's the right answer. All right, take that step. Congratulations to you. Your question now. Question one. Question one. I have been away from home, dash, last month. A, between. B, in. C, since. Since. Put your hands together for him. Right answer. Take that step. Congratulations to you. Now we move away from English. We now go on to mathematics. Why don't you take a step? Moving on to mathematics. Chinelo, how do you play? Question five. Question five. Find the reciprocal of 0 0.125. Options are A, 125. B, 5. C, 8. B five. B five. Wrong answer. The right answer is C eight. Put your hands together for me. <laughs> your question now. Question one. Question one. Round off six, eight, two, seven to the nearest ten. A six eight three zero. B six eight two one. C Six nine zero zero. Six eight three zero is the right answer. Put your hands together for him. Take the step. Congratulations to you. Your question? Question two. Question two. Find the HCF of one zero eight. And 72. Find the HCF of 108 and 72. Your options are A, 36, B, 27, C, 72. Thirty-six is the right answer. Put your hands together for her. All right, go ahead. Take the step. But uh, it's better you solve your questions on time so the answer comes quickly before the bell goes. Congratulations to you. Your question, Emmanuel. Question three. Find the HCF of 15, 20, and 35. Options are A, 3, B, 5, C, 4. Five. Five is the right answer. Put your hands together for him. All right, great. Take that step. Congratulations to you. We now move away from mathematics. We now go on to biology. Why don't you take a step? Going on to biology, how do you play, Chinelo? Question five. In which of the following levels of classification are the members most similar? A. Order. B. Phylum. C. Species. C. Species. Species is the right answer. Take that step. Your question. Question one. Question one. Which of the following organisms is not a protozoan? A. Ascaris. B. Ameba. C. Paramecium. Ascaris. Ascaris is the right answer. Put your hands together for them. For him. Go ahead. Take the step. All right, Chinelu, your question now. Question three. Question three. Which of the following natural resources is most readily available to all organisms? Is it A, air, B, water, C, food? 
A A. A is the right answer. Put your hands together for her. All right, go ahead, take, take that step. Congratulations to you. And I take a step as well. Your question now, Emmanuel. Question, question one has been taken. You have two and four. Question two. question two. Water and salt are both lost from the human body in A, breath and sweat, B, sweat and urine. C, breath, urine, and sweat. Sweat and urine. Sweat and urine. That's the wrong answer. It, well, not exactly the wrong answer, but there's more to it. You can also lose uh, water and salt through your breath. So it's C, breath, urine, and sweat. All right. We move away from biology, we now go on to economics. Why don't you take a step? Chinelo, pick a number, one to five. Five. Question five. If demand increases without a change in supply, equilibrium prices and quantity will what? A, rise, B, fall, C, shift inward. C. C, shift inward. Wrong answer. The right answer is A, rise. Your question? Question two. The money that commands a higher market value than its face value is called A, standard money, B, paper money, C, commodity money. Standard money, your final answer. Yes. That's the wrong answer. The right answer is C, commodity money. Your question now. Question three. Question three. A sugar industry is best located near the source of dash. A, raw materials. B, power c labor a a what a sugar industry a a, a raw materials yeah. right answer raw materials put your hands up say step your question now question three. question three has been taken you have one and four question one. question one a major disadvantage of a socialist economy is that dash a. Corruption is rampant. B. Consumer's sovereignty is lost. C. There is high level of unemployment. A major disadvantage of a socialist economy. Which of these is it? B. Consumer's sovereignty is lost. Right? Right. Put together here. Go ahead. Take the step. Congratulations to you. We move away from economics. We now go on to vocation. Why don't you take a step? How do you play? Five. Five. Which of these is not needed when making a bed? A. Hinges. B. Saw. C. Wood. A. Hinges is the right answer. Put your hands together for her. Go ahead, take the step. Congratulations to you. Your question now. Question two. Question two. What type of wood is good for making furniture and constructions? Is it A, hardwood, B, brown wood, C, black wood? Hardwood, right answer. Take the step. Congratulations to you. Your question now. Question three. Question three. Which of these tools is used for cutting wood in the carpenter's shop? Is it A, plane, B, saw, C, hammer? 
B, Saul. So. Saul so, is the right answer. Take the step. All right. Your question now. Question two. You have one and four available. Question four. Which of these is a driving tool? A, plane. B, saw. C, drill. A drill is the right answer. Put your hands together for him. All right, take that step. We now move on to profession. The very last for today. Why don't you take a step? Chinelo, how do you play? Pick a number. Five. Five. Seems to be your lucky number, right? Okay. An architect, okay, we're, we're looking at uh, architecture. So here is your question. An architect should be inventive and what? A, imaginative. B, destructive. C, shy. A, imaginative. Imaginative is the right answer. Put your hands together for her. Take the step. Congratulations. Your question now, Emmanuel. Question two. Question two. Architects help restore and conserve dash A, old buildings. B, forests. C, paintings. Old buildings is the right answer. Put your hands together for him. Take the step. Yeah. You're good. Your question now. Question three. Last question. Determining question, I must say. Question three. Architects prepare and present design proposals to A, contractors, B, clients, C, principals. A, contractors. Contractors. Final answer. Final answer? You're not telling me, is that your final answer? Yes. Options were A, contractors, B, clients, C, principals. You, if, you, if you could change it, would you change it? Or you stick to contractors? If you could change it, would you? What would you change it to if you could change it? Clients. Clients. Unfortunately, you can't. Clients is the right answer. Contractors was the wrong answer. Unfortunately, you get to stay here for now. Let's see. If he takes the step, then you guys will be at par. Your question now. Question three. Question three has been taken. You have one and four. Question one, okay. An architect is a person who plans, designs, and reviews the dash. A, equipment. B, construction of buildings. C, land. Construction of buildings. Construction of buildings. Are you sure? Final answer. Construction of buildings is the right answer. Go ahead, take the step. And here we are. And we'll need a tiebreaker to determine who takes the next step and who emerges winner and who comes second place. We'll go on a very quick break. When we come back, our contestants will be faced with a tie question. Stay with us. Why don't you take a step? Welcome back. Just before the break, we saw Emmanuel get into the same step as Chinelo, who had been ahead prior to the very last question. Now we need a tiebreaker to determine who the winner would be today on the show. Chinelo, you go first. Pick a number. 
I will give you an acronym and you tell me the meaning of it. Number five. What is the meaning of NLC? National Labor Congress. National Labor Congress, but that's not that's that, that's wrong. It is Nigerian Labor Congress. Okay, your question now. Question um, one to five. Okay, question one. Question one. What is the meaning of Loma? Loma. Loma. Yes. Lagos State Waste Management Authority. Loma, Lagos State Waste Management Authority. That's the right answer. Put your hands together for him. Take the step. Congratulations to you. How do you feel? Great. He feels great. Put your hands together for him once again. Let's meet in front. We'll go on a very quick break. When we come back, they will be presented with your gift items. Why don't you take our step? An interesting one, I must say, and that is on the show today. That's how it is on the show today. It's been between Babalola Emmanuel and Chinelu Aganu with Babalola Emmanuel coming up a winner after uh, going through the tiebreaker. Big congratulations to you. Congratulations to you too. Put your hands together for them. Well, this is coming to you, Kutsi NTA Educational TV. We're saying thank you for coming. Congratulations to you. And this goes to our winner. Put your hands together for him. All right. I'll take a step, makes a return same time next week. And uh, just know that knowledge becomes power only when you put it to use. My name is Moses Humphrey, and don't forget to follow us up on YouTube. Watch all our episodes at NTAE TV. Till I come your way again, read a book. Bye for now. Stay.